Hi, I'm Pori Nog, and welcome to Dippy A. Hello, and welcome to Dippy Egg, where I am now a daring daredevil. Okay, maybe not really, but I can be with this jackass the game on PS2. How can you go wrong? Why does this exist? Here we have the glorious jackass on the PS2. We, it also came out on the PSP and the Nintendo DS, but the PS2 and Jackass are the perfect combination, synonymous with extreme. But anyways, this game starts out with the opening sequence, not unlike what you'd see on the show, only with terrifying PS2 model renditions of the characters. But it is at least somewhat impressive for the time. It uses motion capture technology and voice acting from the stars of the show. As you'd imagine, the game is a mini-game collection, but for once, a mini-game collection makes complete and total sense for the property representing it. It's not like they're gonna make a jackass-themed JRPG, as much as I would totally play that. The plot of the game is that Jeff Tremaine, the creator of Jackass, got hospitalized, and now you are the creator of Jackass, here to direct their new season, and it contains a whopping seven episodes. Though upon looking into it, the three seasons contain no more than eight or nine episodes. Jeez. There's really only 25 episodes of this show. I could have sworn there was more than that. But man, look at these characters. They're so scary looking. Johnny Knoxville doesn't have eyebrows at certain angles. And Steve-O looks like a Neanderthal. Now we won't have to worry about him getting Aaron's mom pregnant. <laughs> Each episode has five mini games to it, and you need to make 500 grand on each episode. God, I wish I made 500 grand on each one of these episodes. And you do so by completing tasks in each mini game, as well as getting injured. The first game is called Pachinko Precipice, where you tumble down a mountain and you have challenges such as flying 300 yards before landing and getting over 100k in hospital bills, but you don't control the jackass themselves. You control the earth. You are canonically god in this game and you control the fate of these ambitious daredevils. All things considered though, we're off to an okay start. It's playable and to a degree, kind of fun. I mean, let's face it, we weren't expecting a video game based on Jackass to be a masterpiece. And if you were, you're just prepping yourself for disappointment. The mini games in this are pretty polarizing really. Pretty much everyone can either be summarized as, this is unplayable or, hey, this is more fun than I expected. Not really any in between. The music in this game is exactly the kind of music you'd hear in the Jackass shows and movies. I'd love to share it with you, but YouTube's pretty gnarly with the DMCA's and... I don't know, it's kind of like Baby's first punk album. It's fine, and some of the tunes are actually really catchy. This second game is just a game of chicken on a roof riding shopping carts. It's pretty lousy, but... You get better stuff in this episode as well, such as sketching on a trash can lid while destroying stuff, or driving a golf cart also destroying stuff. Lots of destruction, and that's how it should be with Jackass on the PS2. A commonplace thing in this game is it's quick time events, and we don't like quick time events in this house. Like, yeah, I get it with the Party Boy game. Like, you aren't gonna do a Jackass game without Party Boy in it, and... I mean, it's one of the most memorable skits in the show, and quite frankly, the best way to do it is with quick time events, complete with the game finishing with a guy kicking Chris Pontius's ass. But then you got quick time events in episode two minigames, such as Steve-O diving into feces or tug of war. I mean, I get why they're there, but we could have put better minigames in instead. I blame quick time events for this show getting canceled, not the controversy. As you move through the game, you unlock more characters based on cast members of Jackass, and they're all present except for Bam Margera due to the licensing stuff in Activision. Even 15 years ago, Activision was ruining everything. But I guess it's okay, you got to be in Tony Hawk games two years after the series is prime. Still probably more prolific role in this game. But that's okay, we got lots of characters to play with, and you get to launch Preston Lacey into a fence. So there's a lot of charm in this like manual. 
like it just looks like it's like a like a handwritten notebook with like stains and stuff i don't know i have, i appreciate the attention to detail here some of these mini game challenges are pretty tough though like this one where they're like in hamster balls on a roof slamming into each other but man, this was really tough to win, not gonna lie. I know it looks like I'm sucking big time, and quite honestly, I am. But I swear, this one was kind of fun. In between each episode, you get these beloved cursed cutscenes. Like this one where Wee Man was arrested, and man, this voice acting is masterful. Ow! Wee Man! I was supposed to be there to bail the little f***er out. Ah, I always knew Wee Man was a fruit. <laughs> How do you bail Wee Man out of jail? By making more episodes of Jackass, I guess. Rolling down a snowy mountain in a snowball. Yeah, there's a lot of these, like, go downhill as fast as you can destroying stuff level, so brace yourself. Then we got Wacka Wee Man. Wait, wait a minute, I thought Wee Man was in jail. <clears throat> That's what you get for lying to me. Honestly, episode 3 might be the weakest one yet. Like, yeah, the snowball level is decent, and you have another sketching on a trash can level. Nice variety, by the way. But man, Whack Out Wee Man just feels like filler content, and this top-down level where you have to avoid junkyard dogs while collecting bones is kind of underwhelming. And then this weird juggling minigame is flat-out unplayable. Who played this and thought, like, yeah, this is a great idea? Yeah, oh, all that work for PS2 footage of cow poop. I wouldn't expect anything less from this franchise. But the minigames begin to feel kind of rehashy at this point, such as bumper cars on the roof, which is basically the same idea as doing it inside the giant hamster balls. And speaking of giant hamster balls, a rehash of the first game we looked at, where you control the earth and roll down a hill, is present. But at least this one plays a little better, I suppose. But we're bombarded with a lot of questionable ones too, like stab the table without stabbing your hand. Like, yeah, everyone's played that probably, but I mean, it's fine for what it is. A shooting gallery stage, which just in case you wanted to shoot Preston Lacey with paintballs. <laughs> and pogo stick racing, exactly what I bought a PS2 for back in the 2000s. But I've never felt like a game was such a mixed bag where one stage is a rehashed but fun enough racing sort of stage. Then you have this unplayable sort of kaboom style game where you have to block poop from raining on you with an umbrella. But it's I don't think it's literally possible to dodge all of it. And you got more racing. And you got puking up eggs. Uh, okay, more racing after that. This is a glorified racing game, but then it just gets weird with this stage where you're kayaking in a sewer and the controls are just asinine and unresponsive. You just kind of like ride into the wall. I mean, it's a miracle I did anything in this level and Dave England's facial expressions say everything that I need to say about this mini game. Also, shout out to this tattoo stage where you have to give a tattoo and, and I somehow got two of the three score goals with this monstrosity of a tattoo let me know if you want to be inked y'all all this work to unlock jeff tremaine wait wait a minute i thought this man was hospitalized did he fake it did he see my youtube channel and want me to just direct his show uh, i hope so hire me jeff tremaine Ow. the game told me not to imitate it i'm just dumb and i didn't listen but of course we continue we get more levels unlocking the ultimate character, Attendant. And I swear, it's just more downhill sort of levels and racing stuff for the most part. There's a few unique ones scattered through, such as Rock Paper Nuts, which is exactly what you think it is. <laughs> this stage of Wee Man destroying a car via, you guessed it, quick time events, and probably the worst game in this package by far. Oh yeah, this isn't on rails sort of mini game where you have to ride a unicycle and you have to press l1 and r1 to stay balanced pretty simple stuff yeah no because it's so sensitive and 
it felt pretty much near impossible to make it a significant distance. I tried this nonsense for like an hour before I just kind of gave up on it. Thankfully, in each of these modes, making 500k can be done in three or so mini games, depending on how many tasks you get done in each. But at least you're rewarded with some low res video footage of jackass skits that might not have been aired on TV. Are these exclusive? I hope so. They look like Sega CD FMVs, but some of them are pretty entertaining. We're in Connecticut and we're looking for my anus. Then you got this one that's just like Johnny Knoxville making faces. In addition, there's also a challenge mode, which I really didn't bother with because it's just playing the mini games. I just played through more and I was kind of over it at that point. However, I did beat all seven episodes of the show and I created a season of Jackass and thusly I beat story mode and you get this ending screen that's just like them going to a red carpet party and Steve-O who I presume is intoxicated is just like puking on audience members. Man, this really didn't age well, but I'm glad Steve-O is doing better now. I'm Pori Nog and this is Slots on the PS1. Let's go! Let's get this bread! <laughs> Woo! So, Jackass, the video game on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I feel like playing this game itself is the ultimate Jackass stunt, and they should let me join their show because I played through their game. I think that's only fair. I, I've been. I don't want to be that guy, but... but you know what? You know what? It's actually it actually was a lot better than I thought it would be. So cool. Now to do the real stunt, I'm gonna play some California games. Hi, I'm Pony Nog, and this is California Games. Hello my friends and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it then you know subscribe like the video help me out in this terrifying YouTube algorithm and if you really like my stuff I also have a Patreon now link in the description there's tiers where you can get videos early or even get your name at the end of the video. But either way I'm happy you're here thank you so much and I love y'all so much.